Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Titzer. I'm an infant researcher, and I would like to talk with you today about how babies learn in language skills. First, I want to give a little bit about my background. I've worked in different infant development laboratories. I worked in the infant motor development laboratory. Also, I worked in the infant cognitive development laboratory, and I collected data in infant social and emotional development laboratories. And I've had my own laboratory, and I've done many studies related to how babies learn. What I want to do today is initially talk about the importance of early language and reading skills. Then I want to talk with you about scientific principles about how babies learn language skills, and then about how you can apply this in your own home. There are actually many hundreds of studies that show that a child's early language learning has a long-term impact on later language skills. So the basic finding is the earlier the child learns language skills, the better. This is a very consistent finding across many hundreds of studies. So this is true whether the child is learning syntax, grammar, speech production, or sentence processing skills. It's also true when the child is learning non-native languages, native languages, sign language, or written language. So, earlier is better for language learning. I'll give some examples. Babies who have been taught more words by 18 months of age also have greater vocabularies at age three. There's something called a language gap, where some babies understand and can say many words, and then other children cannot. And the question is, how did they get there? So there are quite a few studies showing that the very early language environment in large part determines a child's language skills. So for instance, how many words the parents say to the baby or the quality of the language that the parents use, that has a very long-term impact on the child's language learning. So we used to think that this language gap emerged by age three. Uh, with, which it does by age three, but it also has already emerged by 18 months of age. So there are 18 month old babies who can say and understand many more words than other 18 month old babies. And there's newer research from Stanford University that found that by 18 months of age, babies who are in a better language environment not only understand and can say more words, but they also have faster brain processing speeds than babies who have been in a poorer language environment where they don't hear as many words or the quality of the language is not as great. There's also a new study from Finland that found that language scores at age two predict reading scores at age 15. So early language learning is extremely important. So I hope that you will um, try to use all of the scientific principles that I'm going to be talking about in just a couple minutes. There are also studies showing that early reading skills have a lasting impact on later reading. Um, reading is one of the most important skills that you will ever teach your child. And reading ability is associated with improved health, improved education, improved socioeconomic status, better creativity, and higher intelligence. At the very least, it is correlated with all of those factors. And in some studies, it is actually a causal factor for, for all of those different factors. So reading is one of the most important skills you will ever teach your child. And the earlier the child learns to read, the better the child reads, and the more the child enjoys reading. So I highly recommend that you teach reading earlier instead of waiting until traditional ages. There are also long-term negative consequences when children do not read well, not just for the children, but the entire society. So if a child cannot read at grade level by the end of first grade, fewer than one in eight ever catch up to read at grade level again. So, there's a short period where the child must learn to read if they start at the traditional age. And if they don't learn by the end of first grade, then they're likely 
to not do well with reading, which then will have impacts on the rest of the rest of the person's life. Worldwide, reading scores have been relatively flat for decades. Uh, there was a meta-analysis of six longitudinal studies. So this is a study of studies. And the best predictor for academic success at the end of high school, uh, it's early reading and early math scores. So if you're going to only do, if you're only going to teach your children a couple of things, if you focus on early reading and early math, that will have a very big impact on your child's academic development. Of course, I recommend that you focus on other areas as well, but those two are very important and the best predictors of a child's academic success at the end of high school was how much did the child know on the very first day of school, the very first day of school in early reading and early math, and that predicts a child's success better than the parent's IQ scores, better than the parent's socioeconomic status, and better than which school the child attends. So there's a reciprocal relationship between reading and language learning. And we've known about a lot of this relationship for a long time. So we know that people who read a lot have better uh, vocabularies because the more you read, the more your vocabulary improves. We also know uh, that uh, when you when you teach language scores, that helps later reading scores. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, language scores at age two predict reading scores at age 15. And there are a number of different studies showing that language scores impact later reading scores. My colleague, Dr. Tracy Johnson, and I have new data showing that even in infancy, in early infancy, if you teach babies to read words, that actually also improves their language learning. So this reciprocal relationship is helping in, in every direction. If babies learn to read words, it improves their language scores. If you improve a baby's language scores, it improves their later reading scores. So um, please consider teaching reading early and focusing on reading early in life.